For months, we've heard from critics of Dallas Police Chief Renee Hall, LULAC, and three different officer associations among the loudest voices. But tonight, another group is coming to her defense. Our Damon Fernandez spoke with Dallas's Black Police Association and joins us live now with their story. What are they telling you, Damon? You know, I'll tell you this, uh, Cynthia, in about an hour and a half, some neighbors from across this area will be meeting over in Fair Park to discuss some of the increased police presence they've been noticing here in South Dallas. You know, lots of folks have been talking about that, calling it over-policing. And it's part of a policing strategy that Chief Hall authorized many weeks ago. Now, Chief Hall has been a hot topic on these streets with folks talking about her recent medical leave of absence. While some critics are asking lots of questions, police and some neighbors say they're sticking strong in support of the chief. Monday afternoon in South Dallas. The other day I came out and was three or four police park right down there. Police are on patrol. I don't care where you go, without the police, you're not protected. And 84-year-old Dolly Stone has a front row seat to a lot of the action from her porch, knowing her neighborhood is one of the hot zones where police chief Renee Hall is placing outside law enforcement resources to help DPD patrol. But with the police, we are protected. But recently, more and more neighbors are noticing Chief Hall's leadership has been a hot topic of criticism in Dallas. In this particular case, with Chief Hall, there's a little more than we're normally used to seeing. Terrence Hopkins is president of the Black Police Association of Greater Dallas. He says its membership is asking him to speak out. They're concerned over recent votes of no confidence in the chief from another police association and what they call unreasonable requests for her resignation. You inherited a department where uh, we had major pension issues, right? You inherited a department where we had uh, pay issues. You inherited a department where 700 officers left, roughly. So that is big in this law enforcement game. Hopkins is also alarmed over criticism about the chief's recent absence during medical leave. Hall has been away from the office for about two weeks, following major surgery, according to DPD. You tell me that she shouldn't be allowed to have sick time to take care of her personal issues? Uh, that's nonsense. Stone also calls questioning the chief's medical leave unreasonable. The retired nurse has had two strokes and a brain tumor removed. Sometimes we have to take a medical leave. Hopkins says he wants the public to know Hall and the DPD command staff have a plan in place that's being carried out during her time off. You talked to the police chief? Oh, yes, I recently. did. Recently. And um, what's she saying? How is she feeling right now? And is she uh, doing okay? Yeah, all I can tell you is that she's recovering and my prayers are with her. Gotcha. Yes. In Dallas, I'm Damon Fernandez.